welcome back. Um, before we go to negative sample, let me give you a bit of the context. So we are looking to represent words by vectors. Yeah? And there's two techniques, there are C-Ball and skip gram. In C-Ball, we've seen that the update rules for gradient descent are these two. And in skip gram, we've seen that these are the update rules. Yeah? Now, a few things we need to know. First of all is that every word has a representation as a center word and as a context word. Yeah? So every word has two vectors. And then you also he, uh, see that we have two unknowns, VW and VC. So in order to run gradient descent on this, we will need to alternate. So we can initialize VC, calculate VW. Once we have VW, we can calculate the next iteration for VC. And like this, we will alternate and converge uh, to the end. We've also seen that these softmax uh, formulas, of which you see the detail here, are very expensive computationally because you need to sum over all the words in the vocabulary and we've always used 7,500 up to now but your vocabulary can easily be 100,000 words as well yeah so it's not practical to either uh, use CBA or skip gram if we just do as we did before so that's how we get to negative sampling and what is negative sampling? Well, basically, you're going to give up your softmax character, yeah? And you're going to replace it with a sigmoid function and make it a binary classifier, all right? So here again, the example of the cat, the cat jumped over the fence. Cat is your context word, jumped is your center word. And here is the schematics on how to get there. And here your Y, yeah, these are basically 7,500 neurons and only a few will be lit up. And the one that is lit up the most, that's actually your prediction, yeah. Um, this is if the vocabulary is again 7,500. If you have 100,000 words, I mean this is way longer, yeah. So what we're going to do is replace a softmax by a binary classifier and um, give it a 1 if uh, the combination is positive that means that in this case cat and jump is a positive example and we will put it 0 when, when there is a negative example now we still have these 7,500 words, yeah? And most of them are going to be negative examples. There's going to be a lot more words that are not seen as a combination with cat than there are words that will be seen as a combination with cat, yeah? So instead of uh, doing a 7,500 binary classification calculations, we're going to do a lot less. And how we will do it? Well, for every positive example, cat jump, we're going to sample um, k negative examples. Yeah? Uh, according to a certain distribution, which I will come back to a little bit later. So we have to find five words that are actually not really linked to the word cat. Yeah? So I took zero, tennis, nurse, C and k. All right? Um, so in this case, you only have six, six sigmoid uh, calculations to perform. Yeah? Now you can say, yeah, but I mean, uh, this is quite drastic. Yes, it is drastic, but it has shown to work. Yeah? This actually works really well. 